Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about a new product uh, that we're launching here at the Kingfisher. It's our knot bobbin, PR bobbin. That is it over there. It comes in four different colors. We've got silver, blue, that's royal blue, red, and of course my favorite, gold. Okay, so how a knot bobbin basically works. It's a weight on a spindle that you actually rotate around your nylon or your braid. For demonstration purposes today, I'm gonna to do it around nylon first, and then I'll do braid to braid. So braid to nylon, and then afterwards I'll do braid to braid. So what we do is we take our braid, and I'm presuming for you guys out there, it's the braid that's coming off of your reel. Okay, so it's your main line. In other words, you take your braid, stick it through the eye, like so. You then take the tag end, and you've got two O-rings over here. So what you do is you take the braid and you slide it between the two O-rings, like so, and just give it a little bit of a tug. And you'll see that the braid actually gets caught in those O-rings. Just pull it slightly just to get it so that you've got a little bit of braid sticking out. And then what you do is you wrap it around, oh, 10 times is more than enough for most uh, knots, PR knots that you're gonna do. Obviously, if you're doing a longer one, you're gonna wrap it more. If you're doing a short one, you wrap it less. It's up to you. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I've just gone 10 times around. Now what we've got to do is we've got to set the tensioner. Now the tensioner is this part over here. So you tension it and just give it a little bit of a pull to see how tight it actually is. It needs to be tight enough that the braid will come off when you're rotating it under pressure, but not too loose so that it comes loose. Okay, so it just takes a little bit of getting used to guys. So play around with it a little bit at home. Once you've got your tension set, don't touch the tensioner again. You don't need to touch it. So just play around with it until you get it right at home and then leave it. Do not play with it afterwards. Okay, so here's nylon. Uh, this will be my leader here, for instance. The easiest way to do it is to just take your braid and your nylon and cross it like so. And then just wrap it around your hand once, twice. Okay. There are other ways of doing it, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to do this. Okay, once, twice, and try and keep it tight together. So here we go. I'm just going to rotate the actual um, PR bobbin around the nylon. So all we're going to do now is swing it slightly, one, two, three, and then it'll start rotating. And there we go. And you just carry on going. Once you've got to your desired length, all you do is you take this little thumb over here and you just push it ever so slightly and the braid will start rotating over itself again. So we just get on going. Until we get to the end, and the end is where you actually started over there. So I'm just gonna let go of that side. And then just take the PR bobbin, the knot, and pull it until it comes loose. Once you've got that tension set on it, don't play with it, just leave it. Okay, so now to finish it off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some locking knots, about six locking knots. And how we do a locking knot is just the overhand knot. Okay, so what we do now is we do our first half hitch. So we take it over, under, back through, and we take that loop part to the back of where the knot is. So I'm just going to hold it upside down so you guys can see it there. 
So we slowly pull it. There we go. So that now locks it in place. So there we go. We've locked it in place. Now, all we do is we release the double nylon and braid. And we take our braid and we give the braid a good little pull just to lock all those little um, loops into place. So you pull it as hard as you can. It locks everything in. Now we do six or seven half hitches. It's up to you, personal preference. But six half hitches from now. There we go. One. And all we do is keep a bit of tension on this leader line of ours. There we go. Two. There we go opposite way. Three. There we go again. Four. And then just pull back on it. Do another one. Five. There we go again. Six. Take your braid and give the braid a good pull just to make sure everything's locked in place. I'm just going to cut this nylon shorter so you guys can actually see what's going on. The tag in there. Okay, so from there, you can do a couple, uh, a risotto, a reverse risotto if you want. If you want to create a little bit more of a point on it. I'm just going to do it to show you guys. You don't have to do it. Uh, it's just an option. So let me just show you how we do a reverse risotto. So you're going to take it, hold it like so. You're going to go underneath one, two, three, four, five, six. You can do more. It's up to you. It's personal preference. So now you hold the actual line next to itself, like so, and just give it a little bit of a pull. Now what we do is now we reverse that whole process now. We take this part of it and we wrap it around. One, two, we're basically unrolling, if you have a look here, we are unrolling the actual knot. Three, four, five. Okay, so there we go. Can you see it there? And then all you're going to do is you're just going to pull on the tag end here. There we go. And those five or six little loops that you've done actually locks this tag end in place so it doesn't come loose. There we go. Always remember, a little bit of lubrication never hurts. Hold the line tight or the braid tight and pull. There we go. So now the reverse risotto is now locked in place. We then cut off the tag end as close as we can. We take our nylon and again, cut it as close as we can without cutting or damaging the braid. There it is there. So there's the knot basically complete. You can pull as hard as you want on it. That knot won't come undone. It's not a knot, but it's just wraps. And it won't come undone. So there we go. I'm now going to show you how to tie braid to braid using the, the, our Kingfisher bobbin. So for that, I'm just going to take some braid. Yeah, oh, Ricky, you can get it. Because you can walk behind me, no problem at all. Don't worry, we can carry on filming. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so what we're going to do now is basically just take our PR bobbin with our main line over there. We're going to go through the tube, grab it, and again, between the O-rings. Slide it down. And now because you've got the tension set on the right-hand side, you don't need to touch it or play with it. Now what you're going to do is just 10 times around. Okay. 
take our braid, and this is just an easier way of doing it. Instead of wasting that amount of braid every time you tie the knot, we just double it, make an over end granny knot, and form a little loop in it. Okay, take this little finger of yours, stick it through it. Now, you don't have to wrap it around your hands. That's the nice part about it. Take your pure bobbin with your braid, go around two or three times, grab it, grab it next to that one over there. Once, twice, three times with the braid. Obviously, the thinner the braid, the more wraps you're going to take. Thicker the braid, the less wraps. Now, all we're going to do is, again, is just keep on spinning the PR bobbin, and we'll make it about that long. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and... One, two, three, here we go. And we keep on rolling. And as we roll, we just move this hand, the left hand over here, away from it a bit. We get to the right length that we want it, and we just use your nail to just flick it over as it's spinning. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. We get to the end there. Just pinch it with your finger. Give it a bit of a pull. Okay, so now all we're going to do, again, is just the half hitch over your hands. Bring it back to the end of where the PR knot is. There we go. Go down. Pull back on itself. And at this stage, you can basically release on the actual braid. So let's just loosen all the braid quickly. There we go, take that off. So that's what it basically looks like at the moment. So now we're just gonna take our leader, uh, our main line, sorry, and just give it a pull to tighten the braid. So it actually bites into itself. So give it a good pull, tightens into itself, then just loosen this one up a bit. There we go. And now all we're going to do, again, is six half features. You can do more half features if you want. It's up to you. Pull away, pull towards. It just locks it in place. That's all it's doing. So that's all I'm doing. There's nothing more simple than little overhand knots. I'm just going to do a couple more just to show you what it looks like at the end when it's wrapped. Okay, so that's pretty much what I'm <clears throat> trying to achieve. So now, let go. Take your braid scissors, your mustard braid scissors that is, and you cut as close to the leader as you can. There we go. And again, yeah, I always like to just leave a bit of a tag in there. Take my fingers, lighter, optional. Okay, and almost. And there we go, that's the finished PR knot from braid leader, which is that there, to your main line. So your main line coming off the reel to your braid leader. There we go. I'm just going to cut it and you can get a photo of it close up. All 
other products that you see here, in other words, these PR bobbins that you see here, are available from leading tackle stores nationwide, as well as our Kingfisher branches.